the 151st installment of Tell Money Handle. Your number one place for sports, cars, video games, fitness. You're a man. You're he. Mr. Alejandro's about to tell him. What you about to tell him, Alejandro? I'm about to tell him about the mega match between Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. Goldberg. Tell him, Alejandro! TEA drink this first wrestling episode ever on TEA, and it may be the last for a minute. We gotta talk about this nonsense that I just witnessed, man. Bill Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar, mega match. Second time they're fighting against each other ever. First time they fought each other was way back in 2004. It was a whack match. And the reason why it was whack is because everybody knew both of these guys were leaving the company after this match. You understand? Everybody knew what was going on because of, you know, online, the internet. You feel me? So now you fast forward to this match. And for me, I really feel like it was a ginormous disappointment. This match was heavily hyped up by WWE. Mad commercials, mad this, mad that. We got them in the video game, 2K17, da-da-da-da-da. So now, I haven't watched wrestling since 2006. You feel me? Because I feel like the company has just gone in an awful direction. I feel like Vince McMahon is making one bad decision after another. The last match that I truly enjoyed was back in 2006. John Cena versus Rob Van Dam. Amazing match. ECW One Night Stand. It was lit. Anyway, we fast forward to this match. Heavily hyped up. You feel me? Mad Cats is slurping up the return of Goldberg. I'm hyped. If you don't know anything about Bill Goldberg, Bill Goldberg was a menace. Bill Goldberg was a beast in the 90s. He ran WCW, son. And you know, WCW Wrestling Company and WWF back in the day, which is now currently WWE, had mad beef. Goldberg helped the WCW lead at points in that battle. You feel me? And so did the NWO. Now, we look at this match, and I was highly disappointed with this match because it wasn't even really a match. The first match sucked. Both cats was leaving. Now, this match, I can count on one hand how many moves there were in this match. Let's start it off. First, Brock Lesnar pushes Goldberg to the corner. Goldberg spears him. Goldberg spears him again. Jack Hammer. Match over. This match was pathetic. This match was faster than Goldberg's first match in WCW. And that match was fast because he was going against somebody who was jobbing. You know what jobbing means? Basically letting him win. Putting him over. You feel me? So in this match, they basically turned Brock Lesnar into a jobber. Brock Lesnar is the most dominant specimen in WWE history and mind you this isn't something that i believe this is something that vince mcmahon has portrayed by having somebody like brock lesnar who only wrestles temporarily by the way defeat the undertaker at wrestlemania and take away a 20 plus year record a streak that undertaker had that was a bad decision in my eyes personally i would have had undertaker fight and lose to Sting, but instead, Vince McMahon had Sting fight Triple H. Great match, by the way, NWO interfered, DX interfered, it was lit. For me, somebody who enjoyed wrestling back in the day, but at the same token, you missed the opportunity to have Undertaker Street broken at WrestleMania by Sting, you feel me? That would've been a dream match, that would've been a big WCW versus WWE match, you feel me? So now you have Brock Lesnar defeat Taker, Brock Lesnar's supposed to be a god in wrestling. You mean to tell me, in three moves, Brock lost to Goldberg? What? It has no credibility. You see what I'm saying? Brock Lesnar in real life went to the UFC and dominated. He won a heavyweight championship because this man really is skilled. In college, back in the day when he was young Brock, he really won in the college rankings. You understand what I'm saying? In Minnesota. So this is also somebody who tried to play in the NFL. He didn't make it, which goes to show how hard it is to make it in the NFL. But it also shows this man is talented. And yes, people, I know Bill Goldberg did make it to the NFL, and it was short-lived, but he made it. Nonetheless, three moves against Brock Lesnar, that's not right! Three moves it took for Goldberg to win that match? The entrances when Goldberg comes out of the locker room was longer than the match. Bill Goldberg in real life got beat up by Chris Jericho. A lot of people don't know that, but a lot of wrestlers can attest to the fact that yes, Jericho hit Goldberg with that one-two punch, and Goldberg was not ready. Goldberg is currently 50 years old, and Brock is 40. How is three moves gonna defeat Brock? And then on top of that, the best manager I ever seen, Paul Heyman, is side by side for Brock Lesnar. You mean to tell me Paul Heyman is gonna watch this happen? Paul Heyman is not gonna interfere? Like, Paul Heyman is near Goldberg when Goldberg is preparing to spear Brock. Heyman's not gonna grab his leg. Heyman's not gonna distract the referee. Heyman's gonna let this rock. What? 
Anybody who has seen Paul Heyman's work throughout the years knows without a shadow of a doubt that he's going to interfere in this match one way or another and try and help cheat to get Brock Lesnar in this W. This was foolish, man. And at the end, after the match, Goldberg brings his son into the ring, and it's a nice, loving, touching moment. But this was really whack, in my opinion. You really could have had a good match. The outcome doesn't matter to me. You could have had Goldberg win, but you could have had a good match with somebody like me. Somebody who really, you know, loved wrestling and was very passionate about his wrestling back in the 90s. You could have really impressed me. This is why I'm tuning into this, because this is very nostalgic for me, and this is why I'm so passionate about this. I wanted to see a good match. I wanted to see some suplexes, some military presses. I wanted to see people beating on their chest, fling them over the top ropes. You feel me? I ain't getting none of that. I got four moves. And that Brock Lesnar push to Goldberg in the corner, that's not even really a move. I got three moves. That's ridiculous, man. This sucked. This was in my birthplace, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And shout out to Toronto. I feel like my Canadians should have got a better show than this. I feel like they're setting up a rematch, you feel me? They've already gone on record and said now Bill Goldberg will be heading into the Royal Rumble. Brock Lesnar will probably go into the Rumble too. I really would not be interested in the third match. It's probably going to take place at WrestleMania. That's going to be cool, but you really, really let me down with this three-move match, Vince McMahon. This was whack. There you have it, folks. Mr. Alejandro's recap. Of Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. TA Drinkers, what did y'all think about the match? If you haven't seen it, no worries. You could probably find it on a short clip on Instagram. Y'all know what y'all do. Tell them in the comments. <laughs> Tonight's polka dot bow tie is brought to you by Ike Behar. I'm looking good. I'm looking like the best. Hope you get better, Kanye West. Tune in for more sports, cars, video games, fitness, and all that. Follow. At Tell Him Alejandro to hear my immediate reaction to live sports events or if you want to hear me cover a certain team or topic. Tell them outro music. Yeah. Highly disappointed with tonight's Survivor Series. Glad that Survivor Series still exists because you know they're switching up matter to pay-per-view. Conor McGregor, will he ever go to wrestling? Personally, he might one day because you know he got money beef with Dana White. But he needs to stop with all this Floyd Mayweather talk. That fight ain't never gonna happen. And personally, I don't wanna ever see it happen. It's gonna be whack. Let's get it. Mm.